All right, what we have here are called hip raises. This is a great alternative if you do not have access to a glute ham, um, as this move will hit the entire posterior chain all at once, teaching calf, hamstring, glute, low back, how to fire, create and absorb force all together. Um, so very, very powerful move, um, especially if you don't have access to a glute ham. All you need is about this much space. Um, and so position wise, we're gonna be lying flat on our back, Feet are at a 45 degree angle, hip width apart. And then from there, arms can be relaxed on your chest. You can fold them onto your shoulders, down to the side, whatever's comfortable. I like near my chest. Uh, and then from there, what we're going to do is point our toes so heels are elevated. And then using our, our, our glutes, we're going to squeeze to bridge up to the top as high as we can. Come back down, reset. Notice my heels are elevated. We're kind of in a calf raise here. Point the toes, heels elevated, squeeze the butt, full range of motion, come back down. Come back down. Point the toes, heels elevated, squeeze the glutes, full range of motion, back down. The next alternative to this move is single leg. So form is about the same. You're gonna lift one leg up, Big toe will be flexed and pulled up to your chest the entire time. And then you're gonna proceed as follow. Point the toe so the heel is elevated. And then using your butt, you're gonna squeeze into a bridge. Greatest range of motion you can, trying to keep these hips leveled. Come back down. Just make sure form is, is as clean as you can manage and you're trying to get into the greatest range of motion that you can manage every single time. Um, so point the toes, heels elevated into a calf raise, using primarily the glute, bridge up into position, squeeze at the top, and repeat. These are um, hip raises.